Hey everyone, Xman490 here. <clears throat> and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Platinum. So today is the day I'm recording this is uh, 6 slash 9, the 9th. It is the afternoon after the Xbox One or Microsoft conference. Nothing really surprised me. There's Project Spark, which is exclusive to Xbox One. That's like the only game that really interests me for it, and you know, but doesn't justify forcing us to buy a clunky new console with no backwards compatibility. And yeah, um, then I heard that there was some like silly kid kid kind of game. I forget what it's called. And open world Forza. Eh. Anyways. So, yeah, Xbox One still does not interest me very much, you know. So, okay, so, oh, that's nice. We have a new uh, graphic for the floor of this place. I, I do know that the uh, graphics, like the, the, the textures or whatever of the uh, of Victory Road and Diamond and Pearl were different. Diamond, Diamond and Pearl, I think it was just like generic rocks, you know. So, yeah. So, time for some E3 anticipation stuff, I guess. Oh yeah, and there's also Project Spark, but that's not, uh, that's not exclusive to uh, Xbox One, so whatever. Might as well just get a PC. It's better on PC. It's better on PC. Play games the way they're meant to be. Yeah. Anyways, Pokemon. Anyways, Ghost Poison Types. It's actually quite convenient because a good Psychic or two will take this thing down. Shadow Ball won't do much. Now I got lots of healing items. You know, Moo Moo Milks. Still not gonna use revives, keep that in mind. Not until I get to the Elite Four. Not until then. Cause for the time being, the selection of games is quite tame. Okay, there's a stupid wire. Okay. Sorry, there was this wire that was kind of in the way. Uh, no, absolutely keep battling. We got Gengar. The evolution of Haunter evolved. Evolved is a, from trading, uh, and it's, it, I mean, it looks pretty cool. You know, some people, a lot of people say, oh, this is my favorite Pokemon. And I have to admit, it does look pretty cool, and it's got a simple design, you know, just a scary face on a shadow thing. Eh, you know. Yeah, that's a pretty cool name, too, like Gengar, you know. I like... Pokemon with names that start with a G, like this one, Gardevoir. In 6th uh, gen, this is in fact a uh, Psychic Fairy type, but for now it's just a Psychic type. Really? Wow! I, th that thing, that, that Gardevoir is like a third stage evolution, or like second, like second evolution, you know what I mean? That, that's really cool. I'm, 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 I'm really impressed, but then again, you know, I am a few levels above these people. I wonder if the Elite Four are going to be a really big threat. I, I do know that, like, uh, I think, like, one of them specializes in uh, fire types, you know, Flint, that was, with his red hair, of course. And there's another with uh, ground types, but I do have, you know, counters for those. Uh, and, and if anything, you know, I'll just tank it with Harvey Wet, you know. I believe in Harvey Wet. Anyways, that joke aside, talking about, well, I don't know. This isn't the time to say asides, because we were at, I'm actually talking about the stuff in the game. Hey, look, for once, it's actually a good opportunity to use, oh, right, I taught a tract. And that won't even work. So, uh, yeah, Noctowl, I think, has pretty good special defense, so... Do, do, do. Zoid Pass! It's up to you, Zoid Pass. You think you can pull it off? Let's see you do this. That's a good job there. You're doing things correctly. You even took that crit? My oh my. Ooh. Oh. Well, I... Even that didn't do much, but, you know, of 
course, Zoid Pass has a lot of defense, you know. It's a tank. Which is why, you know, I'm okay with keeping it like level 32 or 33 or whatever. Um, it's just, you know, like, it can take a hit. And if I'm up against something that doesn't have a uh, ground type or fighting type move, then I'm okay. Or a water type move. Yeah. Uh, Togetic. Uh, it's kind of defensive, and I think it does have probably has like uh, some weird move. Uh, a double it. Ooh, that did a lot. Excuse me. That was just kind of more more powerful than I expected. But that safeguard is going to be pointless. Haha. <laughs> uh, kind of. Oh, flinching. Hooray. Strength. Finish it off, Zoid Pass. Nice job. Defeating something on your own. No assistance. That's what I call a good tank. Doesn't have a lot of attack power, though. Hmm. But, you know, you, you, you saw those defenses. I mean, dare I show you again? Wait, not here. Uh, this. I mean, look at that. Already over 100 for both defenses. Meanwhile, like Johnny 2's special defense is at that level. Goku's is not even close. Like, not quite. Neptune, eh. Harvey Wet is understandable, but even so, you know, not really proportional. So, yeah, you know, Zoid Pass can sure take some hits. And this was all for Max Repel, and I just... It, we haven't fought anything. Any Pokemon. Nothing. Nope. Nada. I'm just gonna keep Dover Worm out. Gonna beat one of those Pokemon, and now we got the frame rate going down. Oh! A Repel. Did not know that. Hey, look, it's a Rhyhorn. This is perfect for this situation. Damn Worm, do your stuff. Or, or show them what you're made of. Or, don't get hit by Horn Drill. <laughs> I think Horn Drill and other one-hit KO moves, um, they do not affect Pokemon that are uh, at, at higher levels than you. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay, I'm gonna be quieter. The, 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 the sound, the audio has just been too loud. And, now, now, now I'm not going to be incredibly loud, you know, now that the camera is going to be okay. So yeah, Damn Worm is going to be able to take some, you know, hefty hits, Earthquake or two or whatever, because, you know, being a bug type. Ooh, Explosion is... Ah! Well, at least I'm near the entrance, so I can, you know, get a healing item. Ugh... Ah. That was, that was really disappointing. I'm disappointed in you, you damn worm. Uh-huh, see what I did there? I knew that that would be a good name for it. It also kind of works, like, you know, with it with its attract, and then, like, the other Pokemon's like, DAMN! DAMN, worm, you sexy! <laughs> uh... Uh, this is not really good. I would like to run. I luckily can run with Goku because uh, Lucario is pretty fast. Do, do, do. So... I think when I get outside and then go back inside, I'm, I'm gonna put on the Super Pal because, you know, you don't want to see me like doing my grinding thing here. I mean, it's practically grinding because I'm going back and forth, around and around, you know? I'm, f I I'm not gonna go back again, okay? Okay, you damn worm? You, b you better, you better not, better not faint. Cause I ain't, I ain't picking you up again. Damn worm. Alright. <sighs> We're already at 10 minutes and we only fought like two people. Jesus. Dude, <sighs> who?
Alright, so what was I gonna do? Max Repel. He's one of those I used, or I found, on the ground. Yes. Oh, and also, uh, I forgot to mention, I don't know if I mentioned, but I got myself a Quick Claw from Jubilife City. Um, that will be helpful for Neptune, for a reason we'll see later. For now, I'll just say that there's something that is really fast, and that Neptune, like, Neptune's the only one who can really feasibly take it down. I'll give you a hint. It's something that can only be really defeated, you know, easily with uh, Ice Beam. Or just about any ice type move, but, you know, should be a strong one, you know? Okay, yeah, this is the way. This victory road is quite a maze, but, you know, when it. Well, actually, now that I think about it, this is pretty much like the most maze like ones. You know, there's so many different levels and all this. Uh, speaking of Neptune, I think I might put him in front because, uh, I don't know. <clears throat> so, we're actually going around here to the side and then going back around. It's, it's, as I mentioned, this is kind of a maze. Okay, waterfall. It's actually quite useful here, as Blissey has a ton of HP and a ton of special defense and a pretty good amount of uh, special attack too, but not quite so much uh, defense and attack. Attack and defense, not just, not either one, it's both. Now, uh, Goku should be able to take this thing out with a good dig, kind of surprised it. oh, actually I shouldn't be surprised, you know. I mean, you know, this is Platinum. We fought, like, Electrovire, and we fought a Probo Pass, and no, I just realized that, but whatever, close combat. And we also fought a Frostlass, um, a Miss Magius. Though, Miss Magius is, uh, was in uh, Diamond, Diamond and Pearl, anyways. Uh,. And Weavile, but Weavile's in those two. Uh, we have uh, Glalie, by the way. Glalie's the uh, normal, like, you know, plain evolution of Snow Runt. Plain old Ice type. No Ghost type. So, you know, we're fine with that. I, I think s with Snow Runt, it's like some weird, like, maybe trading or maybe evolving when it's female and has, like, ancient power or ominous wind or something like that. Who knows? Who cares? I'm not using it. And I have steel types. I have no time for those dumb ice types. Though, I mean, I kind of... I would kind of like them. I mean, you know. You know what I mean. I mean, I, I'm... I don't know. Don't get me wrong. I like the ice type, but still. Now we got, like, you know, Generation 6. There's, like, the fairy type, so... Ice isn't now isn't the uh, go-to Dragon Slayer anymore, and this is probably the wrong way, but I'll get an item. I don't care. I don't care. Oh, oh yeah. I just I just realized that this is the first time I showed this off. <laughs> All right, come on, Zoid Pass. Let's go. Go down and up. And this, uh, by the way, this uh, victory road will probably be two episodes. I mean, shouldn't be a surprise. I mean, come on, we're already at 14 minutes, and I mean, we're not even like halfway done. Oop. Okay, we're okay. Now, let's uh, grab one of those super pals, shall we? Got lots and lots of them. Because, you know, I have been in situations where I had to backtrack without a flying type because, you know, still mono type run here. Can't even have a... I can't even have, like, a flying type until, like, near the end. Okay, okay, this... Is, yeah, th this is definitely okay. Th no problem here. False alarm, false sense of alarm. This... Could be a mess, but isn't really. I should. Well, I should definitely push the t the uh, the left one down. 
If I push the right one down, then it'll block my path. And I can't get it out of my path, so there we have it. And there's the flipping mammo swine. Yeah. So, a good surfer too will take this thing down. Yeah, there we go. I mean, that that, that thing seems really tanky. It's a, it, by the way, it's a uh, ice ground type. So yeah. And here is Rampardos, the uh, evolution, evolution of the uh, the uh, Crenidos, which we saw the first gym leader have. I believe it doesn't have particularly good defense so okay maybe it has lower special defense but in the end we pull off waterfall kind of surprised that that thing's rather slow but hey whatever I mean come on it's a freaking t-rex shouldn't it be fast or maybe not and of all things we have a moth him I don't even care I'm, I I'm staying out I'm gonna freaking freeze this freaking thing I don't even care I mean, come on, who uses a moth in this late? I mean, sure, I have my Wormadam, but, you know, it's a steel type. So, yeah, I mean, I send it up against those ghosts and psychic types, and it's no problem. Though, you know, it does get blown up, you know, that one little situation, that freaking graveler, and, and walk back. Ugh. Oh. Why do I have a feeling there's a hidden item? It's like so many rocks. One of them's gotta 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 hide something. I tell you what. Oh dear, and there goes the frame rate. And we're at 17 minutes. I think we'll get out of this area and head into like a little pathway across and then I'll be it. Uh do 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 and Goku, I guess. Whatever. <clears throat> And, well, I kind of have to fight this person anyways, because I have to pass in front of their field of vision, you know, to pass through. It's, it's really funny how, like, there are all these trainers just lined up, you know, in my path. But hey, you know, I got experience. And particularly free experience in situations like this. Freaking Clefable, of all things. And I get knocked out. One hit KO! BAM! Or an Oko, as it could be called. Torterra! I see your Torterra, and raise you an Empoleon! Let me explain. Torterra is most likely slow, slower than Neptune, and an Ice Beam should be able to beat it. Even though, you know, Neptune is adamant. So, eh, you know. But, there you go. I mean, you know, Neptune, you know, it's, it's, it's a pretty good special attacker anyways, you know, adamant or not. <clears throat> Though I kind of wish I checked before, but, you know, w w when I noticed it, it, it was pretty late, and I didn't want to play the game all over again, so, yeah. Alright. What are we going to do? We want to go up to that elder old person I think hello old man I can't see your eyes okay now I can oh my emulator graphics <clears throat> I think this guy has a fighting type doesn't he oh no He's a star raptor so yeah I mean well I have Goku out anyways and yeah, I, th I think this is alright, you know. Oh, this is definitely alright. Gonna bypass those those freaking double teams. Like, no problem. Aura Sphere. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir, but Aura Sphere... I don't know. I don't know why I made that joke. I just thought it was funny. Here's Lickalicky. The evolution of Lickitung. Yeah, I believe it evolves when it has rollout as a move. And yeah. I don't think it's a really good Pokemon. But I mean, ugh, that that cry, ugh, is disgusting. The first time I fought one of those things, I didn't 
you know, again, like with Frostlass, I haven't fought one before, and Jesus, that is a a disgusting cry. Like, ugh. Should I be here? Oh yeah, I should be here because yeah, this is we go around. Do not go down a slope that is right in front of us, and we can have a uh, black belt. So this is the time for I guess Harvey Wet. Gonna pull off a, an extra sensory. An extra train extra sensory. <clears throat> And when we get past this little pathway, this little way to go, that'll be it for this episode. Because, you know, I don't want to have like a 35 or 40 minute episode. I mean, come on. You've had enough of that, and I've had enough of that, and let's all just sit back and have a nice short one. And besides, you know, I, I, I want to talk about the other E3 stuff after the Xbox conference, you know? I mean the, the Microsoft. You know, you think you think Microsoft. You think Xbox One when it comes to gaming uh, with E3. You know, it is nice that uh, Project Spark is going on PC or Windows 8 at least. I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah. Hmm. So, anyways. Oh, there's an item there. And items here, items there, items freaking everywhere. And here's an area where you are going to need waterfall. And with that note, that'll be it for this episode. Let's play Pokemon Platinum. In the next episode, we'll be taking down this room and then finishing off the main room of Victory Road. Goodbye.